Whether you're searching for the country that pays the most, or you want a luxurious vacation spot, it helps to know which countries have cash to spare, so you can retire, immigrate, or relax in absolute comfort. Welcome to Earthbound, where we explore topics on cities, countries, and places around the world. For most countries, size matters. In politics, these are the countries that decide the rules of the game. Whether it be China, the USA, or Russia, the bigger you are, the more power you have. But size isn't everything. In fact, many of the richest countries in the world are little more than city-states. Considering everything in the world costs money, what these countries lack in size, they make up for in spending power. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. Now here are 10 of the richest countries in the world. Number 10. Denmark Kicking off our list is the small Scandinavian country located at the gates of the Baltic Sea in Northern Europe. Prior to the 19th century, Denmark was an agricultural economy, with most of its population scraping by. That all changed with industrialization. Over the 20th century, the Danish revolutionized their economy, experiencing unprecedented rates of growth. Once Viking boats set sail from the long Danish coastline in search of plunder, but in the modern world, the Danes turned their sea power into trade power, selling wind turbines, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, and of course, their world-famous pork all around the globe. It's not all been plain sailing, however. In the 1970s and 80s, Denmark suffered from significant economic turmoil, as unemployment, rampant deficits, and government debt stalled their economic growth. But the adaptable Danes bounced back. After enacting market reforms, Denmark emerged as an equal, prosperous society. Indeed, the nation now ranks as the seventh most equal country globally, with a GDP per capita of $58,931. Number 9. Hong Kong Hong Kong is amongst the freest economies in the world, a trade it inherited from its days as a British colony. Today, it boasts low corruption, high wages, and a booming startup sector, with over 28,000 startups registered in 2018 alone. But the story wasn't always so rosy. When the British first arrived in the 1800s, Hong Kong was just a regular Chinese port city. But with British and European demand for trade with China, the city became the gateway to the Asian tiger. Soon, merchants, shipbuilders, and banks flocked to the small island. However, it wasn't until after World War II that the Hong Kong economy truly took off. Exports of textiles led to a rapid rise in GDP, reaching a GDP per capita today of $59,520. Even more incredible, this lone city is the 39th largest economy worldwide, beating out much larger countries like South Africa and Pakistan. The secret is the minimal government intervention, low taxation, and one of the biggest stock exchanges in Asia. Number 8. Brunei From the Golden Dome palaces of the Sultan to the nation's beautiful gardens, Brunei has a reputation for luxury. Yet unlike other entries in this list, Brunei is not a mixed-service economy. Its colossal wealth comes almost exclusively from crude oil and natural gas production, accounting for around 90% of its GDP, making it the third largest oil producer in Southeast Asia. Brunei has spent its wealth wisely, however. Residents enjoy a GDP per capita of $62,371 and the second highest human development index in Southeast Asia. In addition, with excessive revenues from fossil fuels, there is no income tax. So, what you earn, you keep. Still, with recent oil price fluctuations, Brunei is exploring other money-making projects, including developing Brunei into a hub for international travel through their national air carrier Royal Brunei Airlines. The nation also launched the Brunei Halal brand, hoping to gain lucrative deals catering to the growing market of Muslim consumers. Only time will tell if this venture is a success. Number 7. USA While most of the countries in this list are small microstates, the USA stands as the exception. Being the sole economic superpower, the USA is one of the most advanced developed free market economies globally. Companies here are at the forefront of what humanity is capable of, and the dollar is the world's reserve currency. Together, these factors make the nation a behemoth unparalleled in human history. Indeed, the US is the largest trading partner for the world's biggest economies, including China, the European Union, Canada, Mexico, India, the UK, Japan, and more. Nor is it just a service economy. The U.S. is both the largest importer of goods and the second largest exporter, producing everything from pharmaceuticals to Oreos. And that's without mentioning its immense abundance of natural resources, which make the U.S. the world's largest producer of petroleum and natural gas. It's little surprise, then, that the per capita GDP is $63,416. The downside, however, is that not everyone enjoys the benefits. Income inequality plagues the nation, and the country remains the only advanced economy that does not guarantee its workers paid vacation. 
Still, there's no denying this global titan is the benchmark for economic progress. Number 6. Norway Much is said about Norway's happiness and standard of living, which regularly rank the highest in the world. But what's often not talked about is the economic engine fueling its progress. Contrary to popular belief, Norway is not a socialist economy. Rather, it is a mixed capitalist economy with a strong welfare state. That means every Norwegian has access to public health care, paid parental leave, and social security net for the unemployed and disabled. Norway's egalitarian principles have made it one of the most productive and well-paid countries globally. It also boasts one of the smallest differences between CEOs and the lowest paid worker, with a GDP per capita of $65,800. Amongst its manufacturing sector, it is the country's oil and gas production that affords its people a comfortable lifestyle. Comprising around half the economy, 28% of state revenue was generated from fossil fuels in 2011. We are now halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment richest countries below. Number 5. Switzerland Switzerland is famed for its banks, chocolate, and neutrality. By staying out of global conflicts, Switzerland could focus on becoming a stable, prosperous, and high-tech economy. That's reflected in the nation's top exports, including packaged medicines, gold, jewelry, and watches. Indeed, Swiss watches are world-renowned for their high quality and reliability, with brands like Rolex, Patek Philippe, Swatch, and Richemont based in the nation. However, the country's economic success hides a darker side. While Switzerland ranks as one of the least corrupt countries in the world, its fabled banking sector is one of the most corrupt. That's because the Alpine nation attracts those who want to avoid paying taxes in their native country. Still, the country is also an innovation powerhouse, ranking first in the world. Meanwhile, its beautiful ski slopes and verdant valleys have made the nation a tourist hotspot. Little wonder the Swiss GDP per capita is a monumental $72,978. That makes Switzerland not only the wealthiest landlocked nation, but the highest country on this list that isn't an island or microstate. Number 4. Qatar The island nation is located in the heart of the Persian Gulf. The towering skyline is a testament to this Arabian success story. The cornerstone of the Qatari economy is fossil fuels. Exploration of the oil and gas fields began in 1939. By 1973, the colossal revenues had catapulted the country from amongst the poorest to the richest nations worldwide. Even today, petroleum and natural gas account for more than 70% of government revenue and 60% of GDP, earning Qataris a staggering GDP per capita of $93,508. Yet with the oil fields projected to reach depletion within the next decade, the race is on to diversify the economy. The Qatar Investment Authority is the nation's sovereign wealth fund funneling oil and gas profits into an investment portfolio worth $100 billion. That includes stakes in companies as diverse as Siemens, Barclays Bank, Heathrow Airport, Royal Dutch Shell, and the Agricultural Bank of China. The country is also a major airport hub through Qatar Airways and hosts the major media group Al Jazeera, enhancing its soft power in the region. Number 3. Ireland The Republic of Ireland, not to be confused with its northern neighbor, transformed its fortunes in the past 50 years. While Ireland initially suffered economic stagnation following independence, from 1984 to 2007, the Emerald Isle saw continuous annual growth, earning the title the Celtic Tiger. Even after the economic shock of the financial crisis, Ireland only experienced a temporary setback in its meteoric rise. Today, low tax rates and a highly educated workforce have earned citizens a GDP per capita of $94,392. The nation is an integral part of the Eurozone, attracting large multinational corporations to set up their European headquarters in the country, including tech giants Apple and Facebook. Indeed, foreign multinationals employ a quarter of the private sector workforce and pay 80% of Irish business taxes, making them the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. With the fastest Eurozone growth and a grade A credit rating, the future of Emerald Isle looks bright. Number 2. Singapore after the turmoil of independence, first from Great Britain, then Malaysia, Singapore faced high unemployment and poor living conditions. However, under the management of Lee Kuan Yew, everything changed. With few natural resources and a small, dense populace, Lee saw the Singaporean people as the nation's greatest strength. Investing in education and industry, the country transformed into a high-income knowledge economy. That led to an astounding 12.7% annual growth between 1965 and 1973. Since then, Singapore has continued to build on its strengths, becoming one of the world's freest, most innovative and dynamic economies. Indeed, it's widely considered the most competitive economy globally, with more than 7,000 multinational corporations operating in the small island nation. The country's main exports include high-end goods like electronics, chemicals and medical sciences. 
The semiconductor industry alone contributes roughly 7% of Singapore's GDP. Perhaps reflecting Singapore's global outlook, its most famous companies include Singapore Airlines, Changi Airport, and the Port of Singapore. Together, they make Singapore not just a trading goliath, but also one of the most popular tourist destinations in Southeast Asia. Amazingly, in 2018, the city-state attracted 18.5 million international tourists, more than three times the country's actual population. You're nearly at the end of our video. We're on a mission to explore all of Earth's amazing destinations. Make sure you're subscribed. That way, you'll always be notified of our latest videos. Number 1. Luxembourg At the top of the list stands the beautiful pastoral nation of Luxembourg, christened the green heart of Europe. But don't be fooled by the small, charming homes or the ancient stone architecture. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg is the wealthiest place on Earth. Originally specializing in steel production, the landlocked nation has since diversified into chemicals, rubber, and finance, making Luxembourg the world's second largest investment fund center, behind the US. In addition, it ranks as the third most competitive financial center in Europe, after London and Zurich. With centuries of political stability and a tradition of banking secrecy, companies and high-wealth individuals know Luxembourg is a country you can trust. However, that has led to a reputation as a tax haven, bringing into conflict with fellow EU members. It's also taken note of the Irish economy, attracting internet startups like Skype and Amazon to shift their regional headquarters into the small Grand Duchy. Altogether, these sectors earn the Luxembourgish a GDP per capita of $118,001, far above its nearest competitor. With nearly half the population foreign-born, there's even a chance you may get to enjoy its luxurious benefits. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our country's playlist for more videos like this one.